Alright, we're gonna get started. Hold on one second here. Push that up a little bit. There we go. A little bit better. That a little bit bigger. Here we go. Alright, as you can see, playing Fantasy Star tonight. Still part of Master System. Well, I'm going to call it Master System Mania now. Yep, it works now. Thank you for your advice. Those chat room texts are permanently there now. And welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me. So, uh, this is a little different than Vanilla Fantasy Star, as usual. I got a ROM hack on. I have a retranslation, which uh, gets the names correct. And I also have a hack on here that adds a little option menu. You can increase the walk speed. More importantly, you can jack that experience up. The Mercedes up. We're going to half the encounters. And we're going to make it so that the main character's hair stays brown like it's supposed to. Yes, they will all be mine. And we'll, we'll keep this font. So, let's get started. Yes, so in the retranslation, instead of being Lassic, it's is the name it's supposed to be, Lashik. And Elise's brother still gets, gets still gets his shit punched in in the beginning. So, uh, gather a party and save the world. Got it. Yeah, it's not Odin. It's Tylon in this game. Yaps a lot for someone who's about to die. Yeah, enough about that though. Let's have some happy music. First thing we're gonna do, gonna go in here. And this was the thing that set this game apart from other games in its time. You got these first-person view dungeons. And the reason why we're coming down here... ...is for this treasure chest. Gotten a quick 50 bucks from it. And now we can leave. So, this was one of the first role-playing games to be brought over here. 
Um, I, I'm pretty sure it predated the original Final Fantasy by a few months. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good looking. So let's see. We can go to our menu here. Okay, so we got our 50 bucks. There's our stats. We're gonna save quick. Pop in that name. Yeah, the 3D effect is really good for uh, its time in this game. Okay, perfect. Got some armor. Alright, so we're just gonna grab a leather shield for now. Okay, so uh, in the original version, these pharmacies were basically hamburger shops and you could get soda or burgers but since this is a retranslation it says the name it's supposed to be yeah there the reason why some of the stuff in here is so expensive is because you come back to this town a lot throughout your adventure so it's not like you leave and then never come back okay we're gonna grab a searchlight and that's all we can get. Yeah, let's equip that. Okay, so we got a short sword already. So let's head on out and let's get into some fights. Oop, I hit the button by accident. So now I put the encounters on half. But hey, here we go. So let's see how this goes. Yep, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, let's see. This might be a little bit more my speed. Eight experience points from that one creature. That usually gives you two. Okay. Uh, sometimes the treasure chests that monsters drop will actually be booby-trapped. And you'll take some damage when you open it up. Luckily this one wasn't. Because it probably would have killed us. Speaking of getting killed... <laughs> Thought I put that shit on half. Oh well. So, uh, in this town, if we go to this place, we got this girl here. And she heals us for free. Yep, so this is Swaylo. And that's the healing sound effect. Okay, let's go out again. Uh, let's stay away from the bats, though. Okay, let's see how we do with this. So, as you can see in this game, to cut down on uh, sprites, they basically just show one sprite, and then you can see on the right-hand side how many there are in the group. Okay, I'm probably not going to survive this. Nope. So you can see it's kind of rough going at the beginning of this game. Yep.
Yeah, luckily she doesn't go through that whole entire spiel again that she did the first time. Okay. Let's see. I only got 12 bucks, so... Can't really get anything yet. I probably should have checked beforehand to see what my... Uh, items were before I bought anything. Guess that's one down. There we go. Oh good, finally. Now normally, uh, leveling up like that would have taken about, you know, s so many battles because they would only give me two experience each. Okay. And that's how you know uh, I just took more damage because that treasure chest blew up in my face. Mech, let's see how much. Yep, I'm at six from whatever I was before. I could swear there was a weapon shop here. Oh, I know where it is. Never mind. Let me get healed up first. Gotta go down here to this town. Got two towns right next to each other. Yeah, anytime you talk to someone, it switches to this view in this game. Okay, oh, well, we don't need to worry about that until way later. No. I know about the passage now. Here we go. Alright. So I'm pretty close to getting an iron sword. So that's at least an upgrade from what I have now. I think this stuff is the same. Yeah. I'm actually gonna buy... Nope. I can't. I can't afford it. And this is the same stuff. Uh, this right here... This lets you escape a dungeon, and then this is the same thing as the searchlight, except you have unlimited uses of it. And the searchlight uh, lights up dungeons that are pitch black. This right here, this heals you, but it costs money. So since we have someone who heals us for free, there's no point in going there. Speaking of which, let me just heal quick, just to double check and make sure. Yes, it is. So that's what this lady's like. Swelo is like the Pokemon Center. You just go in and they heal you for free. Okay, let's see what we run into this time. Okay, these. So as you can see, even going up that one level makes this fight a hell of a lot easier. And you saw how quickly we beat those two monster flies, and that was only by gaining one extra level. I forget what the max... I think the max level in this game is like 20 or something like that. Got a little ahead of myself there. Let's 
say. Oh, almost. One more fight and I'll probably be able to afford that sword. Yeah, this game, if you die, you have to go back to the last time you saved, no matter how much time has passed, so... It's important to save often. Okay, let's see if I can take this guy out. Probably not. Nope. Yeah, that's the one thing about this game. It's tough. Go it's tough going at the start. Yeah, this is a game that punches you in the face for daring to play it. But it's the start of a really good series, so... Might as well play this one. Since it's part of the Sega Master System library. Leveled up again. Okay, and that should be enough to get that sword. Yep, just enough. Good. Nope. So let's see. Right now our attack is 16. From 16 to 24. That's a hell of a jump. And if you can find one, uh, there's basically pawn shops. And you can sell your stuff there. Okay, so apparently there's a Medusa running around. Nope. It's uh, more possible than you think. Okay, what's in this one? Yeah, the forest area that's inside the walls of these two towns, you can actually can get attacked there. This place right here. Yes, okay, so we're gonna heal up now that we got a fancy new weapon. Yeah, right, we're gonna save. I am going to do a full playthrough of this game, and then after that we'll get back to showing off uh, multiple games at once. I just wanted to take a little break from doing multiple games in a row for the Master System. There, one hit kill. That's how you know we've definitely gotten better. So now we should be able to fight the other monsters that are around without having to run away. Okay. Now we seem to be just running into these now. That's alright. Do a quick heal. 
Don't want to get caught with my pants down all of a sudden. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. There we go. Much better. That's a hell of a jumping experience. Oh, we learned to spell now. And I just got shot with an arrow from the treasure chest. It happens. Okay, 149. So you see we have heal magic. No MP though to cast it. But once we get healed here, we should be able to have MP. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a whole 4 H 4 MP. It's like you learn to spell, but you need to rest in order to actually get the MP to use it. Yeah, there's really no reason to refuse to open a treasure chest. Let's try our luck with the four, let's try our luck with those first monsters we ran into, the eyeballs with wings. See if we can take care of those. I feel like pushing my luck. Oh, there we go. So we can we can heal twice before we run out of MP. Here they are. We'll see how this goes. Okay, this should be much better. And you'll notice that you can't really target uh, which one you're hitting. You, she just kind of hits whichever one she wants. Which kind of sucks when it ends up keeping two of them alive for a long time. Yeah, there we go. These are the experience and money makers. Whoop. Yeah, I can take care of that fine. Yeah, the reason why they offer you yes or no to open a treasure chest, if you're at really low HP and one of those treasure chests are booby trapped, it will kill you. So if you're at low health and trying to get away to uh, somewhere safe, you can refuse to open them so that way you don't have to worry about it. You won't get any money, but you also won't get killed either. Oh, uh, more expensive than I thought. Nope. I'm just gonna have to go do some more fights. Now, this is one of the games that's compatible with the Master System's FM sound, but I don't really like the FM sound that much, so I'm gonna stick with the PSG music. One of these parts I might switch to it to let you hear what it sounds like, but I'm not a fan. I guess it's because I'm so used to the normal sound because we didn't get the FM 
Uh, we didn't get the thing that let the Master System do FM sound here in America. So, shouldn't be too long. And once I get that iron shield, I'll move on. I'm certainly not gonna grind for that ceramic shield now. Be here all night. Okay, we'll level up again. We should be level four now. Oh, level five. I was off by one. Oh, what was that spell? Quick dash. Okay, so it makes you go faster. Definitely coming out in numbers now. Yeah, now that we're level 5, those uh, monster flies will start dodging their attacks completely. This is what I was waiting for, two of them at once. Keeping an eye on my HP. Okay, good. She actually focused on one to, until it died for once. Ooh, cut that one close. Okay. Luckily, that didn't kill me. Well, let's see what my HP is at. Four. Cutting it clo real close. I'm going to go fully heal myself anyway. Now I have a uh, walkthrough open somewhere else, so I'm not just going to be wandering around aimlessly. Yeah, there we go. Get that iron shield. So our defense is 32. Forty, uh, 44. That's a big jump. We're going to save. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, so the main thing we're trying to do now is get into the spaceport so we can go to another planet. But we need a pass in order to do that. So our first mission is to get a pass. Yes! Okay. Yep, I am looking for Tylon as well. I was specifically told to get him. Okay, so we have a we have a destination to get to. And we need this item. If you don't get that item, you're going to be very sorry later. 
Yeah, the space is kind of a road, if you think about it. You're going from one point to another. Alright, let me check something quick. Now that we're not getting killed every two steps, we can actually explore around a bit. So we can get over to here. Doesn't seem that far away, but when you're running away from fights, it seems like an eternity to get there. Okay, so here we can get uh, new clothes to boost our defense even more. Let's see what this uh, guy has to say. So, this is the town we were just talked about before Xi'an. So, apparently, the port's been shut down. Okay, uh, we'll be going there way later. Yeah, because nobody can get to it right now. Okay, so she talks about there are sealed doors in some dungeons, and you need a spell in order to open them. Okay, so he just talks about how there's different planets. Yeah, that would be interesting. Let's see, is this it? Oh, here we go. Now we got a lead. So the guy we're looking for was here. But he headed down south to kill Medusa. And he had a little animal friend with him. So you can probably put two and two together as to what happened. I was here already. This is what happens when your uh, short term memory doesn't work too well. A secret thing. Well, I gotta know what the secret thing is. How could I refuse that? Okay, we're not gonna... We're gonna make sure not to go too far south. Because if we go too far south now, we're gonna get our asses handed to us. Because the monsters that are near the uh, Medusa cave are not very friendly. Of course, paradoxically, we're not going to get too far, um, you know, getting money fighting these same guys over and over again. So we'll see what we're going to do. And you can see with the uh, experience being boosted up how fast you level up. I mean, some people will probably be like, oh, you're cheating, but you know, I got shit to do, so. You know, I gotta do what you gotta do.
Okay, so let's drop a save here. Because we're gonna go into the, the woods that are inside the walls here. See if we can get more of those devil bats. Nah, this is fine. Besides, I gotta know what that secret thing is. Let's try these woods because uh, those other ones aren't get really getting anywhere. That's probably where I should have went to first. Because I'm looking for these guys. Because yeah, I want that cash money. Speaking of which... Oh, I have enough for the secret thing right now. Trans rate. Okay. Sure, why not? No, well, let's see what that secret thing is. But, but it's right there. It's even labeled secret thing and it has a price on it. Well, I'm not gonna stand for that. Well, I'm just gonna go right back in. If you don't want to sell it, you shouldn't list it in your list here. Thanks. So, this is how you get the road pass to in order to get the spaceport. You have to hit this three times, otherwise you won't get it. Let me see, how much was that? 290. Let me see if there's a place here where I can unload some of this shit that I'm carrying around and get some quick cash that way. Okay, so he talks about a compass and some woods. There, takes care of that. So, like I was saying, uh, this guy here, apparently he found some kind of animal wandering around in a cave. And the bastard sold it. Yes. Okay, but this... Yes. <laughs> okay, so speaking of... So, now we know where that talking animal is. We just have to have it. Okay, let's see. I don't think that building's it, but let's see anyway. 
I mean, it's not like we really got to worry about these guys attacking us now. Whoop. Nope, we are not supposed to be here. Let's see if the town we need is over this way. Huh. Well, you're new. Okay, but you're not too deadly, so... We don't have to worry too much about it. No, oh, they got some cash on them, though. Damn, I got stabbed. Seven. All right, I think the town of Paseo is over in the next star system, so we're gonna head that way after I buy those uh, clothes that were in the town of Xi'an. That might be enough. See what some of these spells do. Okay, nope. <laughs> so apparently that's translate. Okay, let's go over here. Whoop. Oh, you're new. And you're gone. Got some good cash though for one of those guys. Yeah, you should definitely have enough now. Yeah. Okay. Yep, 33 attack and 60 defense. It's pretty good for right now. Gotta save. Yeah, let's head back this way. Take a quick trip over to, to the next planet over. So in order to do that, we got to go into uh, any of the towns. I'm just going to go into this one so I can do a quick free heal. Gonna head on over this way. I'm gonna talk to these gentlemen right here. And since we have the road pass, they let us through. Otherwise, they would tell you to get lost. So, let's see, we got a shop here. Yes, I am. No, I have not. Not that I'm aware of. Do I have that much? 
Oh, apparently I do. So yes, not only do you need a road pass, but you need a passport as well. Okay. I'm gonna buy one of those. Nope. So I just head on up to these guys here. Yes, I do. Yep, take me to the next planet, sir. And it's just that easy to go from one planet to another. Oh, and make sure you hold on to that road pass. suits in these places here. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that's the same stuff here. And this place sells you passports, I guess in case you throw it out by accident. Okay. Diamond armor. Sure, why not? And spiky fur? I don't think I can wear that. And what's in this one? Ah, here we go. Apparently this is the guy who the talking animal was sold to. No, I'm not paying that much. Why yes, it is a Lanconian pot. Yes. There he is. And he's our second party member. <laughs> yep. Yep, and the talking cat was stymied in his ability to heal Tylon by the fact that he has no thumbs. That's all we needed to do here. But before we go... What's my cash situation? Oh, only seven. All right, never mind. I'm gonna save quick now that we have a new party member. Okay, you have you are absolutely naked, little talking cat. Yep. So now we got to head back to where we were before. And you can skip these once you've seen them. I mean, how many times do you need to see it? Yep, I have a passport, and they have no problem with the fact that I have a strange exotic animal with me. Okay, yeah, so let's get healed up, because I think... 
Nope, not at all. We didn't pick up anything. Are you level one? Yes, you are. Duh, that means we need to level you up, little cat. Okay, so since he's at level one, uh, we're gonna start down here. Oh, this might be bad. Yep, you don't know any spells yet, cat. Okay, that's not too bad. They only took one damage. There we go. <laughs> Leveled up, and then I got... Uh, blown up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are pretty similar sounding. friend we're going to start heading down towards the Medusa cave so we can get our third party member oh that's right I need the uh, those are the woods you need the compass for four of them okay So as you can see, with two party members, the fights go by even faster. Okay, where the hell is that cave? I'm staying away from the coastline because there are some really dangerous monsters hanging around there. Okay, here's the cave. And this is what we bought the searchlight for. Okay, ten whole bucks. Hooray. Now this, this one isn't too bad. There's a couple extra places you can go, but uh, you really just want to keep going forward. All the way to the end, and then all the way down. And here we go. This right here, uh, this shows up in your inventory when you get Meow to your party. Meow? Meow? I'll just say Meow. And here we go. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him no matter what it takes. At least he's got her priorities in order.
So, uh, we gotta keep... Keep our eye out for Medusa. And he tells you about the compass. And you need him in order to get the compass. I believe if you don't have him, the treasure chest doesn't show up. And that, you just gotta go all the way down to this end here. And of course, sometimes you do run into random encounters in the dungeons. There we go. Six green slimes. I think I think six is the maximum amount of uh, enemies you can fight in one shot. This <laughs> might be a uh, touch and go here. Okay, at least one of them are dead. Gonna heal you up. There we go. That should have got uh, him up to full. Yeah, eventually you learn offensive spells, but uh, not really in the beginning. Okay, so there's three left. Okay, this should take care of it. There we go. Yep, 96. Get them leveled. Let's see this cash money. Almost 200. Which is good, because now we need to buy equipment for three people. Yeah, it is because... Especially because I have it set to times four for experience and cash. Yeah. Well, you notice these slimes aren't the first things that we're fighting. Okay, I think down here, and then I think this way is the exit. Yep. There we go. So, now, we're pretty much gonna mow these guys down. Yep. And we still have a fourth person that we're not gonna get until later. down here. Let me check something first. Okay, so he has an iron axe and iron armor. So let's see if he can get a shield. Actually, before I do that, let me save first. That way, if I buy the shield and he can't equip it, I don't waste 500 bucks. Okay, so let's see. Okay, good. He can wear it. So that wasn't a waste of money. Do a quick save. OK, 
Okay. Let's head on out. What are everybody's levels at? Okay, so level two, and I'm gonna guess Maya is level four. Alright. Alright, um, I'm gonna take a quick five minute break. Because I'm only planning to stream for two hours today. So I'm gonna take a quick five minute break. Uh, look up where I need to go next, stretch, get water, all that shit. Uh, I'll be back at 7.36. It's 7.31 right now. So sit tight.
All right, we're back. Let me see my cash here. Because for this next part, thank you. It's good to be back. 81. All right, this is going to take a little while because for the next part of the game, I'm going to need a thousand dollars. I'm not joking. <laughs> but now you can see, since we have more party members, the monsters are starting to increase in number as well. Which is good, because that increases our cash, too. Now imagine how long this would take if... We were operating with the uh, one times money and experience. We would be at this for quite a while. That's why I like uh, playing these hacks better. Because they just do a lot of quality of life improvements. Okay, so now we gotta head to that forest where we got lost by going into it. Let's head on down. It was here. And dead. Yeah, see, now we can actually walk around in it. Oh, hello. Batman. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. See what happens. Ooh, that's quite a lot of damage. Unfortunately, all I can do is attack, really. And it would be nice if they focused on one so they could kill it in one shot. So you wouldn't be getting attacked four times in a row, but there you go. Eh, we can keep going a little bit longer. Alright, definitely gonna heal. Gonna heal Maya. Maya up. There we go. <laughs> this is almost like a boss encounter. spells yet. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. As you wish. Let's see what quick, let's see if, okay good, quick dash does what I thought it did. Let's get the hell out of there. Ugh. I 
I got the two of us and a little kitty corpse that we're carrying around. Ah, oh, okay, so you don't... Hmm. In oh, yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so not only does this guy uh, bring back your dead people, he also tells you how much experience you need to level up. Let me just go in here just in case to make sure everybody's fully healed up. Okay, we're gonna save and we're gonna try that again. Hopefully we don't get uh, ganged up on by four of those guys at once. Okay, we're just hell with it. We're in the town. What you got here? A needle gun? Oh, I'll have to pick that up. That's a weapon for Tyron only, and what it does is it only does five hit points of damage, but it hits every single enemy, one after another, in one shot. Oh wait, I can get that shield. There we go, that's better than iron. Okay, what do you have to say? person. Well, yeah, I should say not. Look at the things that are living in the forest. Okay, let's see what's in these houses here. Okay, so we have a governor general here. And he's someone that we need to talk to, apparently. Okay, so we have espers here, too. No, not those espers. Just people who can do magic. Uh, no, what is it? So, he gives you a hint on what the best gear is to get for everybody. So, if you see anything, a weapon or armor that has Lanconia in the name, that's the best thing you can get. Here's more about the Gothic Woods. And now, let's go here. Yep, that old is chic. Why, yes, I could probably use that. Yes, so basically that place we went into where we got 50 bucks, this is where the key is, and it's not there until you talk to this guy. Alright, let's do a quick save.
Okay, let's see if we run into them again. Oh, here we go. But There's six of these guys, but that's not too big of a deal. cash you got. That's not bad. I know this beginning part of the game is grind heavy, but uh you know that's how these how these old RPGs are. Okay, three of them. I think we should be able to handle that. Let's see if our odds are better when there's one less of them. Oh, that's not good. Yep, whichever one that was, it just did 20 damage. Dodge of those. Nope, now there's another one that's gonna start hitting harder. This is why it's good to get the uh, needle gun. Because if he had the needle gun, I would be doing five damage to all three of them every single turn, guaranteed. It's like I'm healing him every turn. I think whatever thing they were doing to increase their strength wore off. Because it looks like they're going back to doing 1 HP of damage again. So hopefully we should be able to beat them this time. Okay, one of them's almost dead. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, one of them's dead, finally. Alright, that's fine. Dead cat's dead. Duh, Jesus, finally. Okay, what's the cash you got? <laughs> well, goddamn, that was worth it. Give. Give gun. Thank you. Actually, yes, there is. Let me see if, uh,. Elisa can wear this. Okay, so he's got the needle gun. Oh, oh well. That was a waste of money. That's fine. I'm gonna save.
And let's check the hospital out. Sure. No, that's fine. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Yeah, so apparently they charge you with... They charge you by how much HP you're going to get back from the procedure. No. All right. Yeah, let's go back to the church so we can bring Maya back to life. So yeah, that gun, you saw what it did. It took out, you'll see what it does right now, better. Basically, it's going to give every single one of them five hit points of damage. And that's guaranteed, so you don't have to worry about it missing or anything. And sometimes you can take care of an entire group like that. up the rest. Yeah, well, I definitely have enough to revive Mayo now. And we needed to come back here anyway. Yep. The cat again. Okay, 92, 260, 70. Okay, so we gotta come back up this way. Yeah, really. Now, we need to go this way. And instead of going down that first path, we gotta go straight ahead. Now, if you didn't talk to that guy in Epi Village, this treasure chest would not be here. So you can't cheat and get this at the start of the game. Okay, so let's go here. Here we go, because I got a lot of shit I got to sell. Get rid of that. Yep, get rid of that. Get this iron shit out of here. The shield I wasted money on. And these clothes. Nope. Yes. I'm gonna need about five or six of these. I don't know how many that was, but we'll just do one more for the road. Okay. Just stop in here one more time. Okay, now. 
we are going to head down here again. We're not going to go into the... Actually, you know what? Let's really tempt fate. We're going to really live dangerously. Let's see what's shaking on the coast. Let's see what nightmares are waiting for us here on the coastline. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go for it. Well, we're gonna guarantee five damage on him every round. Okay, they're not doing too much. These are, I think these are easier than those Batmen that were in the woods. But yeah, I can imagine them lugging Maya's body around, you know, pretending he's alive, like that dead parrot sketch from Monty Python. Okay, so one of them's guaranteed to die. Gonna heal Maya quick. So they're picking on him, they're bullying him. So, next round, two of them are definitely going to be dead. Okay, and that's the benefit of having the needle gun. I think that's just enough for Maya to level up. I was wrong. Can't beat the cash, though. Okay, now we're just gonna steamroll over this guy. There we go. Now Maya knows a spell. And let's see what spell he learned. Well, that's quite a benefit for right now. Oh, that's right, there's no MP when you first learn a spell. Alright, so I should definitely have a grand by now. Oh, hell yeah, 1300? Let's go. So, with the dungeon key I just got, there is a dungeon that I need it for. And I need to go through this dungeon because in order to talk to the governor that was alluded to earlier, I need to bring him a present. Otherwise, he won't speak to me. And that present, you need a thousand dollars for. Okay, we need to go out here and go north for this. We need to go to that uh, area I went into and then immediately backed out of.
Oh, now there's four of them. Yeah, this is the first time we got a good chance to look at him since it didn't die in just one round. Okay, so we need to... not there. <laughs> Every, you'll notice that everything in this game eats cats. It's like they all come from Melmac or something. Okay, uh, give me one second to check something. Okay. So we need to go this way. So we gotta go around uh, this wall right here to another cave. There it is. Because inside this cave is the present that we need to spend a thousand dollars on. But never mind, because I can't go in. So I need to head on back and, yep, <laughs> I need to grab a searchlight and I need to grab something else so I don't have to walk all the way back out once I'm done. I can just go right over here, though, to Sion. Or Shion. Nah, I don't feel like dealing with these guys. Okay, one of these should be a tool shop. That's not it. Hmm. Yeah, why the hell not? As well, we're there, and I had the money. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, let's head back in. Okay, perfect. Two items I need. Okay, let's head on back. And I don't think we have to worry about not being able to run from any of these encounters.
Okay, let's try this again. A little check of something. Okay. I do have a map uh, open, so I'm not going to get lost here. And this is what we need the dungeon key for. Otherwise, that door won't open up. Okay, we're down here now. And now that we're on floor two. Okay, that should be the way. Try this way then. Okay. Worthless short sword, great. Here we go. And so floor three. Straightforward enough. Well, at least there's only just one of these guys. And you can see, even leveling up a couple times, we've... Uh, gotten to where they don't they're not really that big of a deal anymore Okay, she learned a new spell Okay, it should be this way Nope Wow a whole ten bucks I can retire The only way it can be is this way. Alright, now that we're on this floor, this is close to where the uh, place is where we can get that present. So, there's a shop here, all the way down at the bottom of this cave. And, uh, he sells shortcakes. That is why we came all this way. To get a single shortcake from this guy in this cave. Well, that was fun. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. I guess I'm walking out then. Ah, new spell we learned. So now, someone finally learned an offensive spell. So we got more level ups. Okay, I'll see if I can navigate my way out of here backwards. 
Okay, doing good so far. regular game he tells you that he tells you at first the guy who sells the shortcakes that he's selling them for a thousand so that's why you need to try to get a thousand bucks before you come down here but it only takes 280 but here they just flat out say you know here it's 280 bucks there's no trickery involved Should be the last round. All right, um, let's try this one. Nope. Nope, and those are the stairs down. Okay, well now I definitely know which way to go. Should be this way. And if it's not, well then I'm really shit out of luck. Okay, here we go. This way. Nope. They came out with a uh, version of this for the Switch. And on the version of the Switch, they actually give you a map on the side of the screen. So it helps out immensely. Alright, this should be the first floor. And yes, you need to use the dungeon key again. Okay, made it out. Yeah, heal yourself with super heal. Uh, Tylon, eat this. And my character's fine. Oh, a new enemy. And just as punked out as the other ones. Ooh, tarantula. <laughs> so can stop people so even though she couldn't move she was still able to dodge the attack okay how much money do you have 200 bucks and an explosion okay health's looking alright Okay, I'm back in this area, so there shouldn't be a problem. Mm. Oh, two tarantulas. 
Actually, you know what? We're not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother with this one. Okay, let's heal up. Do a quick save. Check something fast. Okay, so let's go meet this governor and give him his gift so he can talk to us. A gift of shortcake. Yep, we gotta go through the whole thing again. We gotta go through here, gotta go up. They ask you if you have a passport, you say yeah. Okay, so we're not gonna go through the whole thing again. Just land so we can move on. Yeah. The most expressive flights because you can just skip it. Alright, so now we gotta go through here. We need a dun we need the dungeon key for this. So that's two items we need in order to get through here. And now we got this guy. This is what we need the shortcake for. And there we go. And that leads us to here. Hey, what's in this place? Okay, so, uh, you go to sleep. No, oh, and, uh, you get a free health thing. Now let's talk to this guy. So this guy is all for your plan of killing Lashik. And apparently Lashik is more than man. Yeah, I know, right? He's not just the governor or the general, he is both. So, he tells you about your fourth party member, Lutz. And you need that note in order to recruit him. Okay, he offers you to rest. Unfortunately, uh, your sleep isn't as good as you thought it would be. Because you're suddenly attacked in the middle of the night. And, uh, as you can see, this thing is no pushover. Doing about 50 damage per hit. Yeah, luckily it was just a nightmare you were having. Alright. 
So thankfully, since that was a nightmare, uh, we didn't actually lose anything. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save here, and I think this is where we're going to... Yeah. I'll go a little bit more, and then we'll end the stream. But yeah, you pretty much get blindsided into that fight. And even if you do end up winning, uh, you only get like 10 experience points from it. So it's a you're meant to lose kind of thing. Alright, so now we can leave the town. Because he said that Lutz is in a cave somewhere around here. He's on this planet. I think, yeah, here we go. This is the way out. So these uh, ant lion holes, we can't cross them yet. So really, there's only one way we can go, which is this way. And, you know, it's the same enemies that are hanging around. Here's a new enemy. So these apparently are the natives of this planet. And he just shoots you. You know, nothing fancy. He just tries to fill you full of lead. Or laser beams, whatever. See you later, rat man. Dang, rat man was loaded. He had almost 400 bucks. And an item. Oh, hello, little guy. You don't have to be so shy sitting down there. Oh, there he is. I think the cave is over here. Okay, so Maya learned a new spell. We'll check the, what that is in a second. Terror. I think that uh, scares enemies away. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now there's three of these guys. Let's try terror out. See if it does anything. Nope. Nothing. And <laughs> Maya got shot twice for the trouble. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. It's a perfect it's a per he's a perfectly normal rat gentleman. I'm sure he's not selling droids or anything. Besides, I don't remember. I don't remember the Jow was just uh, having a side iron that they shot you with. And 
They're loaded, though. Alright, this is getting a little... out of control here now. I hope this is the right way. <laughs> yep, there it is. Nah, I ain't messing with that. No leeches. Um, I think everybody's almost at full. <sighs> well, uh, I'm gonna end the stream here. Because uh, I don't feel like making you watch me walk all the way back. And it's getting close to 8.30 anyway. Uh, next Wednesday, we're going to continue with this. I'm going to play through all of this. And then once we do that, I'm going to go back to uh, spotlighting uh, multiple Sega Master System games at once. Unless there's something else I want to play through fully. Okay, well, we're going to raid somebody. And I think I know exactly who I want to raid. Let's see. Okay, uh, I don't see the Retro Pals raiding, but I do see Lady and Lanalia. So, we're going to raid her. Okay, so we're going to pay her a visit. She's playing Panzer Dragoon Saga, which is a really awesome game. Now we're going to check that out. So, so last time, uh, uh -huh, thank you for resubscribing too. <laughs> yep, yep, so, yep, yep. So, so last, so last time, uh, we we saved the village of Zoa from uh, by blowing up the Empire's machinery, and that was really cool. And in response, they let us use a machine, which uh, let us locate uh, this creature. Who's like blowing out smoke? That's that. That's like keeping us from being able to get to uh, this this giant.